Scams are widespread in the moving industry, especially when it comes to interstate moves. That's what a new study by the Better Business Bureau found. Joining us with more details and some consumer tips is Roseanne Freitas, Hawaii Marketplace Manager with the Better Business Bureau, Northwest and Pacific. Good morning to you, Roseanne. Good morning, Christine. A lot of us move from time to time, so it's very unfortunate that there are scammers out there, too. First of all, before we get to what to look for when hiring a moving company or movers, what are some unethical practices that you're seeing? So th some of them that we see are the whole people's property hostage. So once it gets there, they refuse to deliver it until they get a lot more money. So what people need to understand, it is illegal to charge more than 110% of the estimate before delivery. So they can charge you extra, but they can't mandate that you pay it before they deliver it, if it's over 110% of that estimate. So what if that other, happens to you then? Well, if that happens to you, you want to reach out to a, a website called Move Rescue. Dot com. And what they do, their specialty is to help people whose items have been held hostage. So that's one of the um, legal unethical practices, but that's one of the solutions as well. One of the other things is always make sure that they give you a quote for full replacement liability protection. Otherwise, if they don't give you that quote, and it will cost you extra, you are just subject to the regular standard, which is only 60 cents per pound so it's based on the weight and not on the value of the item and then the other thing is if your form says they're going to deliver on a certain date but they say oh don't worry over the phone they promised it earlier once they start to lie to you you need to have some some red flags go up um, because they're going to go by the date on that form can you expand more about that date on the form you know because it's hard to estimate sometimes to, to a spe specific specific time on a certain day uh, is it still legit if they promise you to move your goods at a certain time and arrive a certain time and then they're an hour or two late that's fine i mean we all know that an hour or two that's it's more when it's like they say we're, we're going to deliver it this day and then a week later two weeks later so it, the time frame is hard because we all have traffic or issues like that, but it has more to do with the actual date. So you, you need your items by this date, but now there's going to be another week or two. What else should we look for when hiring movers? So you always want to look for those reputable businesses. One of the things you want to see, does this company have a physical address locally, or they just have a mail a PO box? Um, are they going to give you a quote in person? And of course, right now, people maybe not be coming to the house, but are they looking at your items, a virtual look? Are they just doing it without looking? They need to see what they're going to package to really give you an estimate. Um, when they come to your house, do they have their company logo on their truck? Also, do they, you want to find someone who doesn't require all the money up front, just a deposit for your items? See if they accept credit cards. Of course, that's a great way for you to protect yourself. And how about a realistic estimate? I mean, if you have a lot of items and this comes in super low, again, it's too good to be true and you need to really question that. Look for them basing their charges on the weight of the item and not on the volume. Now, they may ask for both information and that gives them a better picture, but really the weight is the big key there. Client reviews, we always say that. Go look for client reviews. And where should you look for those things? Go to BBB.org, or you can go to the U.S. Federal Motor Carrier Administration. It's FMCSA. All right, Roseanne Freitas, thank you so much for joining us again this morning.